think about this. Can strengthening a muscle prevent an opposite muscle from getting tight? Melissa Meisty here from Nephew Physical Therapy. We're talking about runners here in the office today. Um, as we've had some patients come in, uh, you know, they've got kind of that ongoing knee pain or hip pain or back pain, kind of overuse injuries because, well, they're doing the same activity over and over again and something will wear out. Now, do I think that they necessarily have a knee problem or a hip problem or a back problem? Probably not. They probably have a weakness problem. We see this all the time in our clients that come in, especially those developing middle school and high school students who are getting taller and changing, their center of gravity is shifting and all that stuff, and they're just not keeping up in their muscle strength, especially in their core, which core is butt, gut, and hamstrings in my world. And so they're overusing joints because they don't have the stability that they need. I have a friend who has struggled with a tight hip flexor, that muscle on the front of your hip, for years. The funny thing is they've done tons of stretching. It wasn't until they started incorporating a lot of butt strengthening, um, hip extension, that the hip flexor stopped aching. You see, I could stretch my hip flexor all day, and it will temporarily feel good. But lengthening that hip flexor and keeping it lengthened to avoid that dull, throbbing, annoying ache that happens comes from strengthening the opposite muscle. See, sometimes things aren't as straightforward or as simple as we think. We think the knee hurts, how do I fix the knee? We think my back hurts, how do I fix that? That's not, that's not, that's oversimplification of something that's going on with your body. Well, that's what we do. It's not our job just to fix your knee pain. It's our job to find out why the knee hurts and fix that. You know, the temptation often is for patients for them to quit physical therapy a little too early because they don't have pain anymore. Well, yeah, that's one good measurement because obviously pain gets in the way of your life and your function and your ability just to, to exist every day. But if we don't get down to that, what muscle is weak? What uh, muscle is tight? Why is it tight? Are we rotated? Are we malaligned? Are, you know, what is it that's causing that? And we don't improve those deficits, that pain's going to come back. Uh, it, it just is. It might stay away for a little while, but eventually that, uh, you know, just icing of the knee or just a few stretches or whatever isn't going to be enough to keep it good long term. So physical therapy in person, absolutely the best option because not only are you going to get that direct one-on-one -on -one instruction and attention to details when it comes to those exercises, but the manual therapy that comes with it. And know that our arsenal doesn't just include our hands. Scraping, we've got um, brain fart, we, we do cupping, and one of our therapists is now working on our certification in dry needling. Another way that brings healing and blood flow to an area of pain. So if you want the best man, manual hands-on work with all kinds of variety of options to get to those deeper tissues on top of very detailed, skilled, trained exercises, nephew physical therapy is the place to go. And I'm not going to be ashamed to say it anymore. Not that I was before, but I'm just going to keep saying it. This is the best place to go. If you need our help, let us know. If you don't live in my zip code, let me know. We've got virtual therapy. So again, don't forget that pain is not normal. It's our job to figure out why. It's your job to do something about it.